Good morning and welcome to the last day of our sew along. Today we'll be adding the elastic to the neckband, the arm opening and the leg opening. So let's start by uh, sewing our elastics in loops. So all five elastics to hold two um, legs, two arms and one neckline will have to be sewn in a loop. So I like to do them all at the same time. But your elastic ends together and uh, then I like to do a little zigzag stitch. If your machine is giving you uh, trouble sewing the elastics together, uh, you can overlap them like one eighth of an inch and do a straight stitch. The elastic will be sewn directly onto the fabric, so you'll be fine even if you do a straight stitch. It's not gonna pop because it will, will sew over it. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's my leg. Now I'm gonna do one of the arms. And then I'm gonna do the neckline. I'm overlapping very little. today all right and then I'm gonna do the neckline same thing this one is very long because I have a low back option and a mid front so I'm gonna do the same thing make sure the elastic is not twisted when you when you sew your loop start with uh, one of the arm openings so you get the smaller one of the loops and I'm gonna mark my halfway point one obviously it's where you put the uh, when you put it together the two seams the two seams and the other one is right here so I have it marked <clears throat> I'm gonna take my swimsuit turn it right side uh, wrong side out and at the arm opening, mark your um, halfway point, which is close to the shoulder seam. In my case, it's here. So I'm going to match my seam of the elastic with my uh, side seam and pin it in place with the elastic on the inside of the swimsuit. That's why I put the wrong side out and then I'm going to match at the top, at the halfway point. Oops, this was the halfway point for the top. I'm going to put it right here. And then my side seam with where I match the elastic, where I sew the elastic together. I don't feel the need to pin anymore. I'm not gonna let the machine do the work. So this is what it would look like. So using a, uh, I like to do this step on my sewing machine, but you can also do it on your serger. I use a wide zigzag stitch. Um, uh, sorry, a long zigzag stitch. I have a three millimeter zigzag stitch with a um, four millimeter width. So I'm gonna start at the um, side seam and sew my elastic together, making sure I stretch it as I go. Of course, if you want to pin it, you can, but I find it, it I spend more time pinning than sewing if I do that. So I'm just gonna attach it with a zigzag stitch to the inside of my swimsuit. Stretching it to match uh, the center point. I could have went even a longer length with this 3.5. 
zigzag stitch definitely uh, is the right stitch for this step. Or you can do it on your serger. I find that it's less bulky if I do, in, if I do a zigzag stitch versus a serger, but it's up to you. So for the next step, and this is going to be done for all five uh, elastics. So once first step is sewing with a zigzag stitch to the inside of the swimsuit, and then you're going to be folding it right at the elastic. So you'll fold it three eighths of an inch because that's the elastic uh, width. I really don't like to pin this more than I have to. All right, so now I, this next step I do on my cover stitch. On my cover stitch, I put woolly nylon or bulky nylon in the looper. I like this for swim the best and regular surge of thread in my two loopers. And I do for every time I sew swim with my cover stitch, I do a, a wide um, stitch. So the two side needles, if you have a three needle um, cover stitch, I mean, I use the two side ones. So I have a wide uh, cover stitch and woolly nylon in the top. So I'm going to fold this and run through my cover stitch. If you do this step on your sewing machine, definitely use a zigzag stitch, a little narrower than what you used for uh, sewing the elastic in. repeat the same step for the other arm opening I'll show you how it looks like with the cover stitch and because I used uh, woolly nylon it fills in the stitches very nicely see on the inside and this is how it looks like on the outside inside outside of course, we did the same steps for uh, your other arm over here. Now, let's move on to the legs. For the legs, we will only be stretching the elastic on the back part. So get the longest, not the longest, the medium size loop, because I have one long for the neckline. You might want to consider writing on the elastic, which one is which, if you feel like their, uh, their sizes are too close together because I have a high leg, my leg elastic is pretty big, so it, I, I couldn't confuse it with a um, arm opening one. But if you find that your elastic are close inside, you can write on the elastic itself to make sure you don't confuse which one is for what part. So again, with my swimsuit wrong side out, I'm going to match my, uh, where I butt the elastic here, I'm going to match it to my crotch my back the back of the crotch where the seam is a little bit off i like to put so see where you can see the seam right here i like to start my elastic like right here not on top so i don't create too much bulk but not too far either so like right when the seam and the seam allowance ends so right here again that's a personal preference and i'm looking and so now i'm going to be sewing towards the uh, front which means I'm fitting the elastic one on one ratio. That's why I'm not even pinning it in place. Because I'm sewing it one to one ratio until I get to the side seam. So I have my side seam right here. I'm fitting my elastic without stretching it at all. Alright, when I 
get to my side seam, this is when, when we will have to stretch it. So if you see, the elastic is right here and the leg opening is right here. So we need to stretch it to match the curve on the uh, back side. I find it to be a lot easier if I let the machine help me versus if I start to pin a lot or clip, especially at the leg. Done. So we're gonna lock this stitch in and then I'm gonna do the same thing for uh, like I did with my uh, arm. I'm gonna take it under my cover seat. So see, here it's a little stretch, but here is one to one. So fold it three eighths of an inch and either zigzag top stitch it or use your cover stitch. Uh, when you do this step, make sure it lays nice and flat. <clears throat> There's no puckers that you'll be doing. I'm just trimming my threads. I love the way it looks when it's done with woolly nylon. It's gonna work without it. I've done it without it, but it's since I already have it at home, that's my personal preference. And I find a lot of ready to wear swimmer do use bulky nylon too, so. Or woolly nylon. I think mine is bulky. I think it's Gooderman from Joanne. But both will work just fine. All right, so last step that I need to do is the neckline. So <clears throat> for the neckline, I need to, uh, the um, elastic is a one-on-one -on -one ratio, but because I have a curve, I'm going to be stretching it a little bit, just a tiny bit where the curves are at the front and the back, bottom and the front. So I'm going to be, first of all, marking my center back. This time I'm going to do quarters. So mark your center back of the swimsuit and center front I just uh, match the shoulder seams and to find the center front now bring your center back and center front together and find the quarter point so when you bring those two together it will yield you the quarter point. Okay. And then you're gonna be taking your elastic So now you have your quarter points. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now take your elastic and do the same thing on the elastic. The back, it's easy because you have your uh, seam. The front, you just place it in two. And then I'm matching the front and the back, same thing. And this is how I find my quarter points. And again, I'm going to be pinning this to my swimsuit on the wrong side. 
and I'm gonna just be pinning the, the quarter points and then I'll let the machine do the work. So for the back, I'll take the back piece here. If you're using a lined, ver if you're doing a lined version, you'll have a, definitely more than the one layer I have here. If you're doing the partially lined, the bust lining, then you'll have, um, and the low back, then you'll have one layer in the back and then it turns into two layers. So matching my quarter points. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before, sewing with a zigzag stitch, a wide one and a long one, an elastic and then cover stitch it. And that's it. I can't wait to see all your swimwear. This is a rather easy it's a pattern, great introduction to swimsuits and definitely a confidence booster. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, the shoulder area. So my quarter at the shoulder area, because it's a straight stitch. I don't have to, uh, not a straight, a straight line. I don't have to uh, target it like I do at the curves. That's why I like to start with. closer to the curve. I'm gonna tug a little bit at the elastic. Just on the curve. target just slightly at the front. See, now it's straight right here. I'm not pushing for you or anything. That's why I like to start where the stitching is straight. All right, so this is what it looks like from the inside with the elastic. And see when you have the low back, your, last, your side seems to finish like this. If you had a medium back, now it would be just one piece here. All right, so like I did before, I'm gonna fold this 3 eighths of an inch and then just run it, run it through my cover stitch. And again, I like to start where it's flat.
lock in your stitches and you are all done. Perfect. So our swimsuit is ready. All you have to do now is take a picture of your finished project and post it in the day six comments. You are more than welcome to post it on the wall. Obviously share it in patterns for pirates. We do encourage you to do that. But if you want to make sure you, I give you an entry and I see it, make sure that you have checked in on all days and that your last picture is also in the comments of day six thread because that's where I look to pick the winners. So um, good luck everyone. Thank you for joining me this week in sewing uh, this beautiful swimsuit and I will be picking a winner tomorrow evening so you guys have a little bit of time. Ta -da! This is my finished, finished swimsuit. I love it. Thank you again for joining me and thank you Boho Fabric from, for sponsoring this uh, sew along. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.